Hey everyone, Jared VK3VL here. And in this video, I just a short one. I'm going to try and keep it short. I wanted to cover the most, uh, well, the first question that came to my mind when I saw this radio. And that was, why do we have a dial A, a dial B, a dial C? And what do they do? So to, let's make this quick. Dial A, by default, sets the pause time when you're scanning. So, you know, you're scanning, you find a station, the pause time is how long it is going to sit there before it goes to the next, um, start scanning again, basically. If you push dial A in, you then get the scanning options, the scan speed, the priority interval, which I guess is how many times it uh, um, goes back to your priority channel, and the resume time. Um, not exactly sure how the resume time differs, but I dare say that's got something to do with the... Um, the priority uh, interval there. Dial, dial B, by default, is your AF gain. When you push it in, you get, and I'm going to move it around a bit, just back and forth so it stays there, you get your RF gain, your um, squelch, your treble, and your bass. I do like the fact you can adjust all of those options uh, with the push of a button. I think that's a really handy menu to have, and I, I, look, look, I really wish treble and bass, I could press a button, push a button in and adjust my RX treble and bass on a, a 7300 or a 7610. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, but uh, I, you know, I have to use an external speaker with filters for that. That's all right. I'll leave. Um, that said, um, you know, the trade-off, of course, is that on a 7610 or 7300, um, RF gain is sort of like the, you know, the second feature of the pot. You don't have to go into a menu for it. So... Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm a big believer in adjusting RF gain when you need to, so um, I'm happy to live with that compromise. Dial C. Um, I'm not sure why this one wasn't just called multi, but it's called dial C. Um, and that basically has PBT1, PBT2. And um, basically they're your, your um, IF shift. Um just like, you know, most of the ICOM radios, uh, it's weird seeing them as a menu option. As far as I know, this is the first ICOM radio that does display them as a menu option. But um, the first one, you know, PBT1 lets you shift the um, passband around, you know, in either direction. And then PBT2 lets you go and shift it around in another direction. So you, you can, if you go the same way, you've essentially done an IF shift. If you go the other way, you're essentially nar narrowing down your filter. Um, that's basically it. Um, and little tip here, one touch to clear. The radio actually tells you that when you first use it. The last thing um, in this menu is backlight. Now, I thought that was a bit strange for backlight until I considered the overall form factor and the probability that this radio is going to find its way into some, you know, probably some surveillance vehicles. So, you know, at night it may be prudent. It may even be a requirement of a contract to be able to um, lower the backlight um, and, you know, basically not uh, blind the driver at night with, whoa, really, really, really right. In fact, thinking about it right now, if I lower the back, uh, backlight, give me one second to have a look, I want to try a bit more. Oh, that was completely off. I'm not really sure. I have to review later. But heck, it might even make my um, videos a little bit clearer. So maybe I'm a big one on that one. So yeah, that's the quick explanation of what dial A, dial B, and dial C do. Um, they didn't feel the need to label the big knob. I'm probably glad for that. If you couldn't figure out what this knob does, you probably shouldn't be using a radio of any kind whatsoever. Um, but uh, yeah, I am curious as to why they gave them uh, names like dial A, B, and C. I can only assume uh, it's for ease of translating manuals and uh, things like that. Nonetheless, I found it very intuitive to use and I didn't have to read the manual to figure out what they did. Uh, this is Jared VK3BL trying to keep it short and saying 73 and uh, crossing my fingers that the audio recorded properly on this video without any pops or clicks or any of those other nasty USB audio interface things. 
we're trying to do things better at Rate My Radio, we're trying to be more professional, and uh, there's, the more you move away from simple, the you know, the harder it gets. Keep it simple. <laughs> I wish. Catch you later, guys. This is Jared for Rate My Radio, going QRT.